Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Shiram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn about a topic in BICEP called Loops. Using Loops, we can create multiple resources in a single go. In the last few classes, we have learned about creation of function app and we also learned linking story account as well as application insights with function app in some real time scenarios you might want to create multiple function apps maybe for different teams and we already discussed each function app must be linked with a story account as well as app insight today we are going to learn how to create bulk or multiple function apps in a single go and it makes sense to have a separate app insights for each of the function app however we will be creating and using the same storage account for each function app because storage account has a limit per subscription you can create only 250 storage accounts per region as of today the number might increase in the future for this recording i have already created a new folder with the name 32.azurebicep create multiple azure function app using loops so we are going to make couple of changes i already have made some changes in two files the first one is Azure function app dot bicep. Here we can see the differences because our goal is to use a separate app insights for each of the function app. So I have moved the app insight code into Azure function app dot bicep file. Having them together will make our life easy in creating the same app insight. In fact, a different app insight for each of the function app. So as you can see here, I have moved the app insight related code from line number 7 to 15 and now if I scroll down while referring the instrumentation key the old code uses the reference function which takes app insight id and returns the instrumentation key however here I am directly referring the instrumentation key from the properties object of app insights resource because the app insight is getting created in the same file that's the flexibility that you have here when you have all the resources that are related in the same file. These are the changes that I have made to Azure function app dot bicep because we have changed the structure of the way we create resources and we call the resources. Obviously, we need to make changes to our main bicep file, which is serverless dot bicep. As you can see here, I've commented out the app insight module because we don't need that anymore. The app insight code is being moved into Azure function app. Now, there is a change in terms of parameters. In Azure function app now expects app insights name, line number 43 here. I've changed it from app insights ID to app insights name. Now, the way we follow the naming creation for app insight is we will just suffix AI to the function app name. So, whatever function app name you provide, that will be use along with AI suffix to the app insights name. These are the changes that I have made to the existing code. Our goal now is to create multiple function app using a concept called loops which is available within bicep. Let's now learn how to use loops to create multiple function app. So right now we have the code related to function app module which only creates one function app and one app insight. Our goal is to invoke this multiple times with the help of loop. I have created two integer with integer parameters in line number 9 and 10, the start index and end index. Basically, these two parameters decide how many function apps we need to create. Now, let's start writing the code related to loops. It's very simple. So, we need to invoke this module multiple times, right? So, just click on here after equal to and then brackets basically you should treat this as an array right the array starts here and ends here so now within this array we need to invoke or we need to create multiple elements for that we need to use for some index which are in the range of now range is a function which takes start index and the count so we already have a start index which starts from 1 comma 
how many function apps you want to create. If you want to create five, in our case, which is five, I would say n index. Maybe you can change this to count. That's also fine. The number of items that you want to create. And then put a colon here. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is we definitely need to use this index somewhere. So we are going to use this in multiple places. The first one is the deployment name or module name. So we will be using this here to differentiate between the deployments of each of our function apps. And then we'll also be using it here with function app name. That's it and we will copy paste the same thing here for app insights name as well. So basically whichever is in a variable you should enclose that in dollar flower braces. That's it. Now let's run the bicep commands bicep script using our Azure CLI command. I ran the command, it takes some time, I will be back once it is successful. As you can see here, I am inside resource groups deployment and I can see multiple Azure functions deployment, currently it is in progress and it is now successful. And as you can see here, the deployment is all successful, I can see 5 function apps and five app insights. Let's review the linking of app insights instrumentation key with function app at least for one resource. I'm going to open two tabs. As you can see here in the first tab, the instrumentation key starts with 3DE33. So this is linked with first function app because we have the index one here in the name of app insights. Let me now navigate to the second tab where I have opened function app, the first function app and navigate it to configuration blade and I can see the same instrumentation key attached for this function app. So the linking of app insights with function app is done properly. Now the storage account is, is the same one which is used for all function app and I just navigated to file shares of storage account and I can see five different shares being created one for each function app. That's because we are just creating a new file share based on the function app name. As you can see here in line number 40, we are using the function app name to create the storage account file share. So function app will automatically take care of creating the file share based on the name that we provide as an app setting to function app. Let's summarize what we have done. We have modified two files. In the first file, we have added the app insights related code. And because the app insight related code is within this function app bicep file, we can directly refer the instrumentation key from the properties section. That's one change that we made. And our objective of this code of this video is to create multiple function apps using a concept called loops. So we have written the code basically the for loop while invoking the module uh, for index in range function. So range function accepts the start index and the count how many times it should iterate. And then it's mandatory to use the index somewhere in the code. So we have used the index in two places, one to name the deployment or module name. The second area where we have used is in line number 39 as well as 44 to so set the name of the function app in line number 39 and name of the fun name of the app insights in line number 44 basically we are suffixing the index to the names those are the changes that we have made and we can see the output that's it for this video thank you so much for watching 
please feel free to share your feedback in the comment section i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye